Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Schematic Kernel. In this video, I am going to explain about how to implement OpenAI function calling in Schematic Kernel application. So far, we have handled mostly in auto function calling only, whether this auto function calling or manual function calling, this is the way kernel handle the OpenAI function calling. Once user send the request to the kernel, the kernel job, it's check what are the available function and arguments, including the chat history information. It's converted to the serialized JSON format. This information sent to the model. The OpenAI model job is process our request based on the input which we passed so once model process the input, provide two information, either handle chart response or handle function response or both. Based on our user input, it will return the value. Model response available, we have to send the response back to the user. And meantime, we have to check if any handle function response available or not. If it is available, we have to invoke or auto invoke the function once receive the function this information sent back to the model model again process the response and send back to the model response again the response sent back to the user this is a workflow whether this is auto or manual so far we seen a lot of auto implementation function calling mechanism in this video i am going to focus on how to implement manual way our idea here is the model response we will check if it is model response we send to the user meantime we will check any function response available or not if it is available we are manually invoke the function and the result sent back to the model so this is the idea we are going to handle it now go to the visual studio in visual studio i have created a new project called sk function calling here I written the program.cs file and the currency converter plugin. The currency converter plugin contain uh, some different functions, convert euro to uh, Indian rupee, euro to dollar, dollar to Indian rupee, Indian rupee to euro. There are different kind of function available and the rate also at the moment I hard code it. So go to the main program.cs file. In this file, here I have created the kernel object and I include our plugin currency converter plugin so once the kernel object is ready i requested to the kernel provide me the chat completion service interface so the chat completion service interface i call the get chat message function and pass the chat history settings and kernel object the chat history i added the hot code value for the user message could you provide me the history of Austria and the current exchange rate of this currency to INR that means euro to INR so two request present one for requested to the model provide the history information the second information to the plugin provide the exchange rate so this information passed to the chat history and settings here I did not specify the tool call behavior that I am going to set now. Tool call behavior. As I mentioned earlier, we seen lot of example using this auto invoke kernel function. In this video, I am going to focus on this enable kernel function. That means manual function calling. So this I added here. This settings passed here. And kernel objects required because our function available in kernel only so we have to pass the kernel object also to this message service and we get the response from the model we just print it before start the main code first i run this application and see the this message content written value this chat message content we see the result from there we start the, write the code so i put the breakpoint line number 33 here start the application so we get the response the content some history information about 
Austria country. And main, we have to check this model result. In the model result, you can see here tool calls. If you go here, you can see the tool calls, information available, which function should call. So the name of the function, currency converter plugin, Euro to INR. That means the Austria currency is Euro that convert to Indian rupees. This is the ID and the argument, function argument, amount, one. So we, we did not provide the we did not provide this information. So the default one is taken. So our next step, we have to go to check this tool calls. And if any function calling available, we have to manually call this function, get the response. This response we send back to the model. Again, model process it and return the result. Let implement this concept, stop the application. So model content, we send this response. So the step here. So the model response coming that we send to the user. Meantime, the function response also coming. So we have to invoke and return the result to the model. So here, I'm going to add, if you see here where, just write function, where function tool equal to model result dot. If you put dot, you're not able to see the tool, tools information. But in the debug mode, we see, but here is missed tools calls. So this information we have to fetch from these items, not directly this property, because this message written as a chat message content. This function returns. So we have to somehow fetch this tools information. To implement this code, so here we write the code for each where just item let it be there we'll change it later model results dot item this item this is a kernel content so i change the variable name now kernel kernel content So here, if kernel content dot, here you can see some other information available, inner content, model ID, metadata, some other information, but still the tools information is missing, which function I need to call, what are the arguments should pass, those information missing. That information available in the inner content, this is the object, inner content, it is available here. We have to check is chat completion function tool call. There are different type of chat completion available. Chat completion text and functions like that. So we need function tool call only. So here we have to check the object type it is chat completion function tool call. Then take this information chat completion function tool. The next step, we have to check this function tool available in our kernel plugin or not because the function information available in the kernel object only. So we have to check the kernel only. So here I add the code kernel dot plugins dot try get function and arguments. If the function, if the function only available, you can use this function. Or function and arguments available, you can use this function. It's up to you, your tool called behavior. So here I use this try function and arguments. The first argument we have to pass the function called tool information. So this, this, this variable we have to pass. Chat completion function tool call. The second argument, which function we have to we have to get from the kernel plugin and argument. 
So, this we have to pass second and third arguments, this out parameter. So, out where I simply called kernel function k function or we keep kernel function like this and the next argument we have to take the arguments, kernel arguments. Next step we have to invoke this function, to invoke this function kernel function because we store the function name in this kernel function variable, kernel function dot invoke async. We have to use this function to invoke this function. The first argument is a kernel object, our kernel object, this one kernel, so first argument we have to pass it here, kernel. The second argument is the kernel argument we have to pass that we stored into this variable that I pass here. This async function we have to wait, wait and we have to capture the written value. The written value is a function result that we have to capture it. So, I store in the one variable function a result. I do one more step here, string result. So, this function result I store it in my string variable a result here equal to function result dot to string. So, the value converted to string that value is stored into the uh, result. In case if the function is not available in kernel object, so the else block I add one statement like result equal to could not find the function. This is fine. This result we have to pass to the model back. And before passing this information, we have to convert this result to the JSON format. So, first I convert this result, result.json serialized, serialized, just pass the result. That's it. And this information we have to pass to the model. To pass to the model, we have to use this line only, this function. So, I just copy this function and pass it here. So, the result we have to add to the chat history. So, chat history dot add message. The first argument we have to set the role. The role is tool because the function result this one, the role. The second we have to pass the result here. This information passed here and again once we pass this information this function return the model result. So, here we capture the model result no? like that it will return here. So, here I just add one more here function tool result tool result like this or better we remove this function because this is a model value. So, I add the model result that is it. We just print this information to the user once model response we print this information to the user right line model tool result dot content and before printing this result I just change the color also so that we can see the difference foreground color and soul color that is it. If we run this code we get an exception we will see first the exception the next step we fix that issue. So, start the application. So, as I mentioned here, we get the exception no function result provided in the tool message. Stop the application. 
So, before passing the chat history information, this tool information, we have to add the previous model response also to the chat history that we did not add so far. Chat history dot add model result. And one more we have to do, we cannot simply pass this information also, data information also that also possible here to add this one. So, here I create the metadata, metadata, this is a dictionary, so the dictionary first argument is string, second argument is the object. So, metadata dot add, the key is open a message content dot id, sorry tool id property, the second argument we have to pass the, this chat completion function tool dot id information we have to pass. So, that model will find the metadata from this information. So, here, sorry, this inform, this step we have to pass the metadata. That is it. We will run this application and see the result this time. Here you can see the output. The first information model response information from the history of uh, Austria, then the green color uh, response from the function call. That information we pass to the model, the model generate the output for us. So, here we can quickly check this 1 euro equal to 88 Indian rupee. Here I hard code the rate is 88. So, that information is coming here. And if we go to program.cs file, here we can see we written lot of code to handle the function call. How to avoid this code? That we will talk about in our next video. Definitely not auto function call. We are going to use this same kernel function call only, but with a less code. That is in our next video.